Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2buzz.com and in this video I'm going to talk about being green with your computing. The thing is that we rely on our computers every day and sadly still computers consume a lot of power. A typical uh, uh, PC, a very even a very efficient PC might uh, consume 100 watts of power and an average PC might consume about 200 watts of power and just multiply this number with the number of hours a typical PC runs that's about 8 to 10 hours you are talking about a lot of energy usage and in this video I'm going to show you how to lower your energy costs while using your computers by doing that going a little bit green you can also save some money and uh, by doing uh, by following some simple procedures you do not have to sacrifice anything you'll be doing your normal computing but you'll be saving power so the first thing that you can do uh, easily is that whenever you are planning to just go out let's say you have a meeting or you are just going out for a lunch you might not be using a computer for just about an hour or two the best thing you can do is just instead of just uh, letting the computer run use the sleep mode in the computer if your computer is just about uh, even three or four years old most of the modern computers uh, have this sleep functionality that works great under windows and mac os x the beauty uh, with sleep is that the system goes into a very low power state. It hardly consumes any power, less than 5 watts of power. And when you want to resume, you just hit a spacebar on your keyboard and your system bounces back to the state it was earlier. You do not lose any work. The windows will be exactly where it were. So sleep is a very efficient way to save power. I normally do not close my computers at night. When I'm uh, finished with my work, I generally put them to sleep and in the morning when I come and just hit the space bar the computer is just bounces within four or five seconds to the state it was so sleep is one tip that you can use in if you're using a windows computer there is also an option called hibernate which actually shuts down the entire computer it's not as fast as sleep but give that a try I'll show you both options uh, that's for the Mac and uh, for the windows the power options that you can set uh, shortly Another major thing that I've found out with the computers is that a lot of devices, computing devices that we use uh, consume a lot of vampire power. Whenever they are, even when the standby mode, they consume a lot of power. And I have just, uh, I was shocked to see some of the results with some of the peripherals that I was using, uh, how much amount of power they were consuming even when they were in the standby or the off state. I've got uh, uh, APC UPS uh, that can be attached to the computer and it gives a reading of how much wattage uh, is being exactly used by the computer. So I played around with that and sh I'll show you some of the results that will shock you. This is the APC software that comes with my UPS and it gets attached to the computer via USB port. And as you can see, it gives us a lot of information, uh, particularly uh, have a look at the lower part below the graph. It exactly shows us how much power is being consumed for the peripherals uh, attached to the UPS. Right now it's showing us as 114 watts of power and uh, it keeps fluctuating whenever I add devices or remove devices. So I played around with a couple of devices uh, to determine approximately how much uh, watts of power they were using. And these are some of the results that I have found out. Okay, this is my Altec Lansing 5021 uh, speaker and this is the control port for the same you can switch it on or off using this uh, I determined that this speaker was consuming approximately 26 watts of power when in the on states that's not a problem but right I used to just switch it off using the port and I used to switch it off like this and even in this state it was consuming 20 watts of power which is insane because this was directly plugged in approximately 24 hours all the time to the power socket and that's a lot of vampire power according to me the next thing is this is my yeti mic which i used uh, for podcasting and recording all the audio and when this is plugged into the computer's usb port this consumes approximately 6 watts of power and the thing is that i must be using this just approximately about 5 percent of the time so I nowadays just plug it off when I am not using and thus save power. To do this, what I have done is I have just purchased this cheap uh, uh, USB connector and whenever I want to plug in some device, 
I just plug it in here easily using this cable and when I'm whenever I'm done with it I just remove that hence I save power using the simple method the other things that I found interesting was that my Dell monitor that's this that I use these days consumes about uh, 30 watts of power that's not a problem pretty efficient my Wi-Fi router consumes approximately 6 watts of power to save on power for external devices like speakers or external hard drives what i have done is now that i have purchased a separate power strip and connected those device to the power strip and before switching off the computer or putting it to sleep i just switch off that power strip i would love to know if you know some other devices that consume a lot of vampire power and some other ways by which you save power while using your computers i love to hear them now i'll show you how to set the power schemes uh, on your computer first i'll show you with the mac then on a windows 7 pc for the mac just go to system preferences and here you'll see this icon that's known as energy saver click on that and here you can set up the preferences the first thing is for the sleep i have set the computer sleep to sleep automatically after 20 minutes you can just slide the slider to give your preference and the second option is uh, for the monitor to go to sleep automatically i have sent it to five minutes you can again uh, slide the slider to set it as you like so this is basically how you set up uh, the energy preference under mac now i will show you how to do it on windows 7 pc in windows just go to the start option and type in power and here select the power option select the power saver settings and click on the change plan settings for setting a monitor to go to sleep i have set it to five minutes and the second option is to put your computers to sleep use the drop down box and select that you also can change some advanced options by going to this option you have got a ton of options here and to put your windows uh, 7 system to sleep just go here click on this and here you can use the sleep option i have been always uh, very energy conscious but during the last year i have purchased some new gadgets or, and have replaced my existing gadgets with newer ones which consume approximately 80 percent less power than my previous devices and i'm going to talk about them in my next video uh, but i would love to hear some of your suggestions and tips about uh, green computing and how you save power if you think this video was helpful please click on the like button given below you can subscribe to my channel to be notified about my future videos that's it for now this is ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully i'm going to see you in my next video